Hello guys, welcome to Simple Tech Working Bench. I was so busy my last few weeks so I couldn't manage to make any videos so that's why I skipped a few weeks without posting. I'm really sorry for that guys and thank you so much for all your support, for all the subscribers that is subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate that. Recently I received a few parcels on my mail and I have also this one, a big one. I'm really curious to see what's inside. Stick till the end like that, you'll not miss what's inside of this big box. So without further ado, let's start opening these boxes. Here we go. Let's start with this small one first. Let's see what is inside. There is any description. I think from the other, because there is another level underneath over there. And I think there, there is some description about this uh, item. So let's open. And let's see what's inside. So that one and these ones. Let's have a look what are these. Ah, so our meal bits. Because I saw that the CNC machine working really well, I buy some special bits that can mill better the PCB board. So you can see it's a one flute and it's a spiral one. And definitely with this one I can do better the PCB board. So let's have a look also the other ones. What are they? Which models are? So this one say that is uh, node one. Let's have a look this one. This one say that is node two. Let's see how looks this one. Okay, so this one it's also the angle of the bit. It's uh, more wider. So yeah, how I'm gonna give a try to see how it will gonna work to do a PCB board with these ones. Let's have a look also the last one on this pack what was inside. I have a pack of uh, 10 pieces, 7.1 also these ones are for the milling PCB boards. So let's have a look how they look these ones. Looks like are two flutes this one and same with the I think 45 degrees angle on the top and this one also are good to make PCBs. So yeah guys stay tuned because definitely I'm gonna come with some more project in milling PCB boards for my projects. So let's have a look from where I buy, how much I pay on and how long it takes to be here. Okay so the CNC bits I buy from AliExpress and I find them like you can see very cheap. So those ones that are a bit more high quality costing £2.73 one piece and then the 10 pieces is costing £10. Let me see the seller if are still selling. So you can see they are selling still this bit and you can choose which one you like. Now the price is increased because when I buy was 11.11 discount. So let's have a look if they are still selling also the other items. So let's see this one. This one also selling and you can choose different dimension and different angle and different thickness on the bit on the top. If you are more interested you are going to find the links down below. Let's see what is inside of this box. Same. Some description maybe is underneath of this label. I don't know why they are doing like that before. I know description was at the back of the box but now looks like put description and then put another label on the top. So let's have a look what we have inside of this box. Oh, really well packed. First of all we have a couple of wires over here. Then this one really well protected with this bubble wrap. So it says 0 0.5 watts over here. Oh. And a nice pouch and empty box. And the nice pouch, what we have, let's have a look. Oh, so in the pouch we have some glasses, and I think what is this? Because the same, the CNC machine working good. I say, why not to try laser? So I buy a 0 0.5 watt laser to try with the CNC machine. This is the laser and I buy it to try with the CNC machine to see how I can engrave with the laser. It's 4 or 5 Nm output power 0 0.5 and has a fan over there to cool down the laser head. Has a board over here. Button on off and let's see these wires what they are. Have some wires. I think this one to connect with CNC controller board or this one just to power separately like that to see if it's working manually. I don't know if I have a power supply. How many volts I say here? So volt in GND or power PWM. But doesn't say how many volt is. Let me see if I can 
find anything that is telling me how many volts should work this one. Hmm. I need to dig in and to understand how many volts because doesn't say nothing over here about the voltage. There is no description of paper, no nothing. Because if I might know how the voltage, I'm gonna try to pause the plate to see if it's burning something. Otherwise, stay tuned for another video when I'm gonna do a review on this one to see how that works. So now let's see how much I pay on from where I buy and how long it took to be here. The laser module, I buy also this one from AliExpress on the same day, 11.11, because it was some discounts. And let's see if the seller are still selling this item. The seller is a Kronos Maker Store and looks like it's still selling this item. Uh, the price also here is a bit now increased because due to discount that was in 11.11 and you can choose 24 volts or 12 volts and you can choose the power that you like. 0.5 watts and 12 volts you have 3.5 watts and 0.5 watts. If you're more interested you're gonna find the link on the description below. I don't have too much space on my table to open the big one so I need to shut the video like that so let's see how it's gonna come this uh, this part of this big parcel so really curious to see what's inside very big I don't need to say from where it's go because you can see eBay eBay so definitely this one I get it from eBay okay so we managed to open see how good it is packed nice 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 Lots of wrap I can see there, and I can see two things. So let's get them out from here. Oh, nice also paper around. So let's get one. This is one thing. Let me put it aside. And lots of paper down there. And this is the second thing. Who knows what they are? We're gonna see when I'm gonna remove the bottom one. Let's come with the first one. Here we go. Here we go. That's a nice speaker. TDL. Nice. Here. Nice. Banana plugs. And it say that it work power rating 20 to 110 watts impedance for 8 ohms let's see how it looks if I remove the grid down wow they looks really nice they looks really nice let's have a look the pair because definitely the other one is the pair I'm planning to upgrade a bit my speakers around I did a bit of research about this speaker and they say that it goes from uh, 50 Hz I believe up to 20 kHz. Really looks good. It's not that much scratch and looks a bit good. And you're gonna be impressed how much cost me this one. Definitely was not expensive. Let's see how looks the pair. looks nice also the pair has a bit scratch over there but definitely i'm gonna speak with uh, vishal because vishal he's good on woodworking so i'm gonna ask what he can recommend to do this scratch to don't see this scratch on but the rest everything it's okay let's see the speakers to look okay to be good protected when they arrived here i can see it looks nice also this one a nice pair of upgrading speakers for my audio sound systems let's see from where i buy how much i pay on and how fast they move to be here and anyway thanks to the seller he really rubbed them very well the speakers i buy from ebay from a uk seller tdl nucleus kv1 speaker spare and it was sold by nig blue definitely they they will not have again these speakers because they was like uh, sell as a used item and it was uh, mentioned that is the last pair. So let's see what else he can sell because he's a good seller. You can see he packed really nice the speakers. He has some amplifier I can see. There is some clothes, another amplifier, some power chargers, some headsets, another natural stereo cassette day. Yeah, so he's selling some various things here. If you are more interested I can I put the link of the seller down below and you can uh, scroll to these items in order that if you might find something interesting you can buy because he really packed them really nicely to make sure that you're gonna receive them in the good condition and now let's give a try to these speakers to see how they sound okay so let's test these speakers and i hope you enjoy the sound
like how the speaker sound. Doesn't sound bad and the money I pay on they was not expensive. It was kept in the good condition apart of that scratch that I were gonna look with Vishal how to manage to remove that scratch. Please let me know in the comment below what do you think about this speaker was worth to buy them or no and this was the content of this video guys the laser that i'm happy that i, I received really fast the cnc beats that i'm planning to do also some other project where i'm gonna still doing some uh, pcb boards with the cnc machine if you enjoyed this video don't forget to put your like down there and please don't forget to subscribe activate the notification bell because i'm still working on the upcoming nelson pass amplifier so next part definitely i think it's gonna be when i'm gonna mount the amplifier in the chassis the power supply and transformer and then another part i'm gonna start doing the preamplifier because as i show in that video i have that preamplifier that i can control the low frequency and high frequency so i'm gonna solder everything and i'm gonna do a nice video on that one so until the next video guys stay safe and bye bye